From time to time the question comes up as to what's the difference between the three-speed shifter setup in a forward control and the four-speed shifter setup. And this is the four-speed shifter setup basically for an FC170. This is the cab shifter with a single lever at the bottom, not twin, a single shift tube that runs back towards the transmission, a support bracket that holds the shift tube at the transmission, and the T98 four-speed itself with a special shift cover on top. Alright, this is the cab shifter itself for the four-speed. You'll notice that it has just one shift lever underneath, not twin like the T93 speed cab shifter. The base is very similar to the three speed. Bolts up the pattern on the cab floor the same way. You notice that the stick though has a different bend to it and most of the four speeds I've seen have this arc to them. They're as opposed to the three speed which has a bend at the bottom and the stick itself is relatively straight to the shift ball on top. And this is the shift tube. It has a 90 degree bend on the end that goes into the cab shifter and it has different bends to miss different components and follow the vehicle underneath back towards the transmission past the engine, bell housing. On the end it has a shift lever that again is 90 degrees, has a grease fitting and a pinch bolt for adjusting the shifter to get the shifting accurately. This is the support bracket that bolts on the top of the T98 four-speed with a pin that supports the shift tube that comes back. Assembled in the vehicle, the tube slid over the shift pin. That allows the tube to rock left and right for shifting and back and forth for cap when the cab shifter is moved forward and back. And I'll demonstrate this with it assembled on the, on the transmission. Okay, this is the top cover for the T98 four-speed. The three shift rails inside the top cover protrude out the front and three shift levers are attached to those. I'll take it off here. You can see what I mean. That the shift rails, all three of them protrude out the front of the cover to these three separate brackets. The three separate brackets create a rectangle on the end and in that rectangle is where this shift lever ends up to move. When you move the cab shifter left and right it moves up and down. When you move the cab shifter back and forth it pulls or pushes these levers. I'll demonstrate in a few minutes. Also you can see on a standard top stick shift cover like this one. Again demonstrating that the three rails end do not protrude through the end of the cover where they do on the T98 four-speed for the FC. Okay, here's the cab shifter hooked up to the shift tube. If I roll the cab shifter left and right, move it left and right, it rolls the shift tube, which changes the position of the shift lever at the transmission cover which I'll show in a moment. If I push or pull the shifter, it moves the shift tube front and back, which moves the shifter at the transmission end. And I'll also demonstrate that momentarily. Okay, here we are at the transmission end. When I move this cab shifter left or right, it rolls the shift tube, moves the shift lever in the rectangular notch, that controls the shifting of the three shift rails. When I move the shift stick in the cab forward, that's first gear. Pull it back, that's neutral. There's second gear, neutral. Third gear, neutral. Fourth gear, neutral. And reverse gear, and neutral and back to neutral and I can move between the different ranges to prepare for my next shift. And that is basically how the four-speed shifter works in an FC truck.